Good morning, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers and today I am hiking in the Wheeler Wildlife Refuge just south of Mooresville, Alabama right along the Tennessee River. So come along, check it out with me. It's an easy walk. In this video, I do an easy stroll along the Tennessee River, starting near the Arrowhead Boat Launch in the Wheeler Wildlife Refuge, south of Mooresville, Alabama. You start out hiking along the shallow bay where the Piney Creek and Limestone Creek join before dumping into the Tennessee River. This is an easy walk down a dirt road. After about a mile, you reach the Tennessee River and turn to follow it downstream. Here you'll find views across the river and wildflowers among the trees. Eventually, I reached the I-65 bridge over the river, where I turned north and followed the interstate for a short distance before heading out across cornfields, eventually looping back to where I started. This is a super easy walk with beautiful views of the river, where you can spot wildlife such as deer and egrets and blue herons. This is the trailhead, the end of the road. We start walking from here. The road keeps going, but it's closed to cars. So beautiful this morning, just lovely. We've had days of rain. It's nice to see the sun again. This hike is mostly an easy road walk um, along an old road here that's uh, not open to cars anymore, just uh, official vehicles use it. And uh, it's right along the edge of, of uh, waterways that are connected to the uh, Tennessee River. We'll be coming up on the Tennessee River proper here shortly. It's beautiful, especially if you come out in the mornings, you can often see wildlife out here. I've already seen some egrets and a blue heron catching a fish that I didn't catch on film. They surprised me. <laughs> so we'll, we'll try to be more observant going forward. And you might be able to hear I-65, the interstate, screaming in the background. It's not very far away and in fact we'll hike under it here in a little while. You might think this is the Tennessee River off to my left here, but it is not. It is actually the Piney Creek, I don't know what to call it, flooded area, inlet, estuary, <laughs> my words fail me. It's uh, where the Piney Creek flows in, but it's been fl back flooded when the uh, Tennessee River was, was dammed over by Decatur. And uh, it's a very popular area to fish now. It's shallow, uh, broad up there, it gets really big. Um, behind us, but uh, down here it narrows right before it dumps into the Tennessee River. The dogwood across this old cornfield is really nice. It really stands out this nice early spring morning. All right, I have come in about a mile and a quarter and down this road, and finally I've reached the Tennessee River. There it is. You know, the Tennessee River is a mighty river that flows through the backwoods of my life here all the time in Alabama. And yet, I rarely ever get in sight of it. It just seems like it was industrialized in the 20th century and made for shipping and, and things like that, but there aren't a lot of trails that go along its edge, which is a shame. It's quite impressive. 
This is a trail that does go along its edge. It's a road, but it goes along its edge and it can be beautiful. In this early spring, there's already some flowers blooming. I see some flocks coming up right here. See the purple? Just lovely. Nice. Oh, and there are daffodils back here. Look at that. Beautiful. Spring is almost upon us. Almost. It is mid-March. Things are just starting to green up. Up ahead, you might be able to see, and I can definitely hear I-65 crossing the Tennessee River up there. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a swarm of what I assume are tadpoles or something under this down tree here. That was pretty wild. There's a lot of them. The red bud trees, purple up there, are just blooming. Really pretty. Probably don't really getting the effect from the camera. I know from past experience, it just doesn't show them the way they appear to the naked eye. They just blaze out in that fuchsia color. That's a pretty good climb shell there. a nice place to rest. Before the interstate gets too loud. Snack time. Here we are at the I-65 bridge. This 
is the first place you can really see the current in the river running. The river is flowing from left to right here, and you can see it right where the, uh, the posts for the bridge are. You can see the water flowing around them from left to right, leaving a wake. Cool. Well, the trail keeps going here. You can actually follow it all the way over to, to just this side of Decatur, this side of the river from Decatur, Alabama. Um, I'm not going that far today. I'm going to turn around here and head back. Jacob is out that way. He ran all the way over there and back. He's training for a marathon. So he's out running while I'm just walking. <laughs> Well, I'm going to leave the Tennessee River behind right here. And I'm going to go up between the road here and then eventually cut across some fields and head back to where we started. So I'm going to try to go off this way. I've never gone this way before. I've always gone back the same way I came in in the past. We'll try this. Looks like it might be muddy. It's a little muddy. I'm going to have to step out of the track here, I think. Mm -hmm see how it is out in the grass. Construction vehicles working here have kind of torn the old road up here. Looks like they're uh, working on the, the overpass here or else inspecting it. There we go, came out of the muddy spot. So we're gonna walk up between the lanes of the interstate here a little bit. It's pretty loud, <laughs> but uh, eventually we'll catch a road that goes off to the right. Here's my path to get out of the interstate. <laughs> Let's cross traffic here. Cross under the northbound traffic. It's so loud. Be glad to get back out away from it. We'll see how swampy this path is. halfway to the interstate on top of a bush keeping an wary eye on me Crossing over a cornfield here. Still crossing through the cornfield. Mercifully, the interstate is fading into the distance. <laughs> We have returned to the road where we started. Along the Piney Creeks inlet here. Trailhead is right over there.
Here's the trailhead. Thanks for coming along with me on this nice morning jaunt. It's a beautiful day just to take a stroll along the Tennessee River. Catch you next time.